First at 10 tonight, we are taking a closer look at evidence just released in the case against the accused Seminole Heights serial killer. The state attorney's office released hundreds of never before seen photos today, including pictures of the handgun police say was used in the four murders. Fox 13's Catherine Holly is live in our newsroom to tell us more about what the pictures show. Catherine? Kelly, the images cover everything from evidence at the crime scenes to autopsy photos, which are too graphic to show. Tonight, we're also getting a look at what was inside Howell Trey Donaldson's car the day he was arrested. The cold blooded murders in Seminole Heights last fall puzzled investigators for six weeks. Tampa police say the break in the case came after Howell Trey Donaldson gave his manager at the McDonald's in Ebor a salad bag to hold while he went to get money to buy a one way plane ticket. Before he left the store, he was like, I got something to, for you to hold for me, promise, and I'll contact you later and I'll tell you what to do afterwards. Inside that plastic bag was the 40 caliber Glock handgun. Investigators say was used to shoot and kill Benjamin Mitchell, Monica Hoffa, Anthony Niboa, and Ronald Felton. This is the first time we're seeing the weapon and the bullets it was loaded with. The images are among nearly 2,000 pictures made public Monday. Photos of the casings found at all four crime scenes match the ammunition in the handgun. Shot it outside? Yeah. At the range? No, no, not the range. Oh, where did you fire at? Uh, up the street somewhere. It, was, it wasn't much. Just, just, uh, just one shot. Near the crime scene of the fourth murder, investigators discovered these handwritten notes. The pages are hard to read, but appear to contain scripture passages. And the phrase, what will you say when God asks you why, is repeated multiple times. More key evidence in the case against Donaldson was found when investigators searched his Mustang. You can see there were belongings all over the car, as well as a suitcase and bags in the trunk. That's where detectives found clothing similar to those worn by the suspect in surveillance footage and a sweatshirt that appeared to have a blood stain on it. If you recall the first video in the hoodie, we did recover a hoodie and we have recovered a jacket. Now, just last week, a judge ruled Howell is competent to stand trial. The 25-year-old is facing four counts of first-degree murder and a possible death sentence if he is found guilty. Donaldson is set to be in court again at the end of October. All right, Catherine Holly reporting for us. Thank you so much, Catherine.